starting the recording. We wish we you wish. a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, I, it's funny, I was studying the same thing, but there's no way I'm going to sing. Oh, I don't want to be arrested. Uh, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. For all those who avoided George Michael, um, what's George Michael? What's George Michael? Wham! Um, now you have it. No, okay. Sebastian is looking funny all at I me. Want for you, all I want for Christmas is you, Doc. Oh, oh that's too God. Much. Maybe maybe we should restart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are you off to for Christmas? I'm on vacation. Christmas. I'm out of the country. I'm on the other side of the planet. I'm visiting I, I Cuba. Hope, I hope, before you say anything, I hope you're not going to meddle with some Soviet-era no, countries, no, allies. No, right? no okay. I'm going that's to be good. vacationing in Cuba. Which is, you know, now totally friend with uh, the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking cigars and drinking. Yeah. Um, th since I'm a non-smoker and don't drink alcohol, I need to find the other three What things that are cool in Cuba. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do on uh, the, uh, over over Christmas season this year. What what is your plan for Christmas, Sebastian? New Zealand, I'm trying to go to Kiwi Land, which is freakingly expensive because for them it's the summer holidays, and I had no idea. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, I I thankfully I can afford it because I usually don't spend that much. But wow, wow, <laughs> wow again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah hopefully it should be should be nice it seems it should be nice actually when i read the guidebook it looks very much like switzerland because it has mountains and lakes and yeah it's well, a, it has the sea though it's a little bit it's a little bit like if the brits would have invaded switzerland and decided to stay there then you basically have new zealand right possibly possibly but yeah hopefully it should be quite an easy travel no stress Although I do read there are pickpockets like in the car parking areas where you leave your car to go on hikes in the mountains. I have to be careful of not leaving your stuff behind. So I'm a bit worried because I don't know where I'm going to put my stuff since I may not be in the same hotel every night. Poor you. I guess you yeah, have to live with that risk. And uh, we no, But the risk is I've got my skateboard and I don't want my skateboard to be stolen. It costs $50 and <laughs> it's my cherished skateboard. So I don't want to take it on the mountain. Uh, and especially since I'm a bit damaged and bruised all over, I guess you, maybe you can see this still. So anyway, the point of this message was to wish a Joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas. Uh, you want to say it in German? Because I don't want to risk myself. Frohe Weihnachten. Oh, so beautiful. say it in French. A Joyeux Noël, I already said it. But I said it so quickly. I speak so yeah, quickly. Yeah, Joyeux yeah. Noël. Joyeux Noël. That's the fourth time I'm saying it. Joyeux Noël to everyone. Joyeux Noël à tout le monde. À toutes et à tous. Citoyenne, citoyen de ce monde. What am I talking about? I'm like doing this presidential speech. I really dislike it because they they always say like French women and French men. Right? They they use a gender uh, declination of each noun and say you know citoyenne, citoyen, française, français. Mm -hmm. I, I, I make it simple. Just, anyway, joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry and Christmas. Frohe, frohe Weihnachten in German and. Uh, And if, we, if we, if we, uh, yeah, Frohe Weihnachten is Merry Christmas. And if we want to extend into the new year, um, then we usually wish each other um, einen guten Rutsch, which translates into, oh, a nice, I don't know, sledge ride? <laughs> nice slip? Uh, I don't know. What, what would you, how would you translate a guten Rutsch? I have no idea. I never heard of that. Oh, yeah, come on. You, German. You, you're supposed to be uh, studying German now because you want to to live in Switzerland, right? Well, live, get the citizenship. I'm allowed to stay there for now, and unless there's Shrexit after Brexit, some kind. So no, um, I have no idea. Look it up, Google yeah, Translate. I'm, I'm, yeah, Google Translate gives me a Happy New Year as a translation, which is uh, well. Here you go. Yeah, which is. A happy new round, right? Yeah. A happy new round and a happy new cycle of the year. So in, in German, we say two things. One is um, um, when uh, for the new year, we, we say frohes neues Jahr. That's the literal translation of a happy new year. Frohes neues. Okay. Uh, if you shorten it, it's frohes neues. Um, 
But before that actually happens, like uh, still in the old year, looking into the new year, we wish each other guten Rutsch. And um, rutschen means sliding. That's the literal translation okay. of it. So uh, we wish each other a great slide into the new year, if you will. Sliding to the new year. Yeah. So okay. and uh, it's always weird to literally translate figures of speech, but uh, well, that's it's what we what? say to each other. We are weird people in Germany. I'm sorry. <laughs> so since you're going to Cuba, you need to know how to say this in uh, in Spanish. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Uh, yeah, correct. You know, in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the Chinese part to you. Shangdan Jie Kuailie. I just listened to it. It's probably wrong, completely wrong. I'll listen to the uh, the Russian version as well, so you can do that. I believe in you. Trust Vigo Rastistva. That's Russian for you. I'm not pronouncing correctly. Very good. I think we're boring our listeners with this. Yeah, we the, the least favorite parts of our listeners probably our beginning rambling of each podcast, and now we get an extra version of this out as a Christmas wish. The, the whole point All of right. this exercise is this week we don't debate. We are peaceful and in agreement with the world this week. We are out on Christmas vacation and hope that you have a blast with your loved ones or with whatever you decided to spend this if hopefully you celebrate quiet Christmas, time hmm? by the way, because not everyone celebrates Christmas. So at least if you're not celebrating anything, be happy for us then, I guess. <laughs> 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 no, it's true. Like if you're Christian Orthodox, you're not celebrating Christmas, right? Like there's either, either St. Nicholas, I think on 6th of December, or like um, like this Coptic Orthodox, like early January, yep. or in Russia also, I think it's the same. And Not too sure. Um, uh, same for if New you're Year. Muslim, I guess Christmas doesn't ring a bell. So you know. Same for New Year, by the Diversity way. Diversity and inclusion. I think the in Russia the New Year is actually on the 9th of January, right? Yeah, something like this. So, uh, or, or our 9th of January. Not even sure what New Year that actually is. Somebody has to enlighten us. I do think we need more cultural diversity in the feedback that comes from our listeners. So if you if you feel like it, send us a happy New Year's, happy Christmas, happy whatever you celebrate, happy that you are left alone by the crazy, annoying people from other countries during Christmas season kind of wish. We love to hear from you. Do you have a Christmas, uh, a wish for Christmas as a gift from Santa Claus? Or that you can request from our listeners? <sighs> um, if... If I can make a wish for Christmas. Go ahead. More listeners. <laughs> that was yes, it's exactly the same wish list I had for Santa. Yeah. Maybe maybe we should make it more concrete. Dear Santa, here is a bunch of posters and stickers. Please put a sticker in every gift you distribute in the next couple of days. <laughs> for all the parcels distributed by Amazon and all the online retailers or print to debate.eu instead of amazon.net or .com on each package you distribute maybe they should do this actually it would be like they would like, they'd be, they'd be a killing in terms of advertising revenue <laughs> co-branding they could have Amazon and a co-branding thing imagine yeah yeah, we, Space is, we uh, should totally, maybe maybe we should stop doing vacation instead taking all that money into marketing. We're going to be brilliant and going to be famous. The the most famous not making a dime podcast on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's Thanks, a wrap. Sir. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned. We have the next debate coming up soon. Until next year. Take care of yourself. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Bye-bye.